Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to our daily hacking news series. Hit the like and subscribe button to give a shout out to our team. Now let's get right into the video. So the first news is coming from Singapore. Singapore has launched a rating scheme that accesses e-commerce marketplaces based on their anti-scam measures. So their technical guidelines for online transaction also have been updated to offer more details on safeguarding against scams. So this uh, e-commerce marketplace transaction safety rating which is also known as TSR aims to evaluate the extent to which this platform has implemented anti-scam measures that ensures that among other users authenticity, transaction safety and availability of loss rhythm uh, remediation channel for the consumers. Now the next news is coming from Google. So Google on Thursday announced the creation of new open source maintenance crew to focus on bolstering the security of critical open source projects. Additionally, that tech giant pointed out open source insight as a tool for analyzing packages and their dependency graphs, using it to determine whether a vulnerability in a dependency might affect your code or not. Now next news is related to crypto theft. So online crypto scams and Ponzi scams leveraging social media platform are hardly anything new. So this bleeping computer has previously reported on crypto thieves abusing Instagram that for running an investment scam that people could fall for. But this a gruesome case of London based crypto robber transcends the virtual realm and tells a shocking tale of real life victims who were conquered into a paying of 34,000 euros in total to the theft. Now the last news is related to firewall. So a critical vulnerability with a CVE of 2022 30525 affecting several models of YXL firewall has been publicly revealed along with Metasploit module that exploits it. So it is discovered by Rapid7 researcher named Jake Bynes and disclosed to YXL on April 13th. It was fixed by the company with patches and it was released on April 28th but not publicly acknowledged by the uh, company via and associate CV or security advisory until now. So that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, then comment down your feedback. Subscribe our YouTube channel. We are bringing hacking news on daily basis. So at last, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.